so here we are in 108 this is the furnace and it looks like in a previous visit I've written uh, the filter size which is 16 by 25 by 1 and the airflow direction which the air is going that away and as we look at our filter that we're going to put in here there's a little arrow that uh, says airflow so we're going to put that in this way so that the air is flowing through the direction of the little arrow so first of all <coughs> we pull off the top panel just remove that top piece that will then allow you to pull up on the bottom pit section and then right there is the old filter right here this paper and cardboard edge there so there's a little a retainer rod here you just pull that off and then I don't know if I'm be able to do this with one hand filming pull it out and there's all our dirt take that out see the dirty one you can see the white line and then we're gonna put the new one in and bring it up bring our retainer rod trying to get a little closer view of that retainer rod you, oh, oh I can't zoom when this on this camera when it's filming anyway so just fit the rod just fits in that little white bracket to hold it once that's there this is a little safety switch here and this door keeps that switch so it won't operate unless this is if this door is missing okay check to see that it's tight on the, that it's all the way on tops not loose the bottoms not loose and go ahead and put the now this top one there's a little lip here that the lip on the inside of this slides down over on the other side of that lip and I didn't think I could do that with one hand and that's the way it is and that's what it is so the cheapest place to buy filters that I found right now is like at Lowe's you can get a three pack up there for pretty reasonable and I like these um, hmm, what is this uh, ziggy zag ones I can't think of the name at the moment anyway and again see this one had an airflow a little bit different airflow thing on it but it was incorrectly and to see the air comes through gets processed and then goes out back into the house so and then the other thing is over here I've written a little note on the walls you've probably seen this turns all the water off to 108 I usually crank this valve every time I'm here just to kind of exercise it make sure that the hard water deposits don't gather on it this is what controls your water pressure inside the place it takes the city water which is like over 100 pounds and knocks it down to about 50 or 60 pounds and this is what absorbs the thermal pressure that the hot water heater creates it's like a little shock absorber for water and so that uh, as the water get hot like a tea kettle wants to whistle water wants to go somewhere when it's hot even though it's not whistling so it goes it pressurizes into that all right that's as exciting as it gets